Okay, so I'm going to step you through laying out uh, the large, I'd call a greeting card layout um, to print project two. In Photoshop, uh, let me dim these lights a little bit, sorry. In Photoshop, we're going to make a new document. And the document size is going to be the size um, of our print. We're now thinking about our print size. So I'm going to make a document that's new. The file um, we can name uh, project one print. And we're going to make it, what did I say, 17 inches wide and 11 inches high. The resolution is 240. And if you notice, this is a pretty big document. It's 30 megabytes blank. We haven't even put anything on it yet. And you say, OK. Now, you want to turn on your rulers if they're not there. Rulers is, are under the View menu. And you click Rulers to turn them on or off. And now we're going to set up our guides. Remember, we want to split our page into quarters. So we're going to drag a guide um, from the left to the middle, uh, which is eight and a half. And then we're going to drag a guide down from the top to the middle, which is five and a half. And now I want to set up my margins. I'm going to give myself a one inch margin around each image. That's pretty generous. It'll give me a nice wide border. Um, so I'm going to drag some more margins. I'm going to drag uh, down to one inch. I'm going to drag it down to four and a half inches. I'm going to drag down to six and a half inches. And I'm going to drag down to 10 inches. You see how I have these very wide margins set up now? I'm going to drag to one inch over here. I'm going to drag to seven and a half inches. I'm going to drag to nine and a half inches. And then I'm going to drag to 16 inches. Okay. So now I have all my margins set up. It doesn't take long. I'm just clicking and dragging out from the rulers. Now that I have my margins set up, I'm ready to place my images. How do I place my images? I go to File, Place. It was right there the whole time. It's had a little blank. File, place. Um, <coughs> find your uh, image that you want to place. Resize it if necessary. Move it around using the move tool. And I'm going to get all four of my. Um, images this way. File, place, resize, move. File, place, resize, move. And then when I'm done doing that, I'm going to um, flip the top two. I'm going to rotate them 180 degrees. So that's good. Uh, two more of these. File, place. Uh, here's my other two. I'm just going to grab them both. tried to hit file place, but I couldn't. It's grayed out. If this happens to you, it means you did not apply your transformation, um, or you did not uh, apply the placement. You need to um, come over here and uh, commit. It's called committing. You didn't commit your transformation or your placement. So you need to commit it by clicking that checkbox. Then you'll be able to place another. OK, so now I have my four images placed. Here's my four port self-portraits. And I'm going to now trans... I'm going to uh, rotate the top two images. You go to... You click on any of the... Uh, the one you want to rotate. Go to Edit, Transform, Rotate 180 degrees. Click on the other one. Edit, Transform, Rotate 180 degrees. I'm going to save this now. File, Save. Um, 
project one print. Yeah, good. I'm going to save that. Okay. That's it. Now I'm ready to print. I go to file, um, print, and what you want to make sure is that right here, it looks like what you want it to look like. Does this look correct? No. All right. So let's go to print settings and check uh, oh, oh, our paper size. There it is. We're using tabloid. Tabloid, which is 11 by 17. Nice. And also, um, you're going to hit uh, save here. And then you need to, right next to that print settings button, click the landscape button. And now it looks right. Right? We changed our size and our print setting. We hit uh, the landscape over here. We hit print, and um, then it should come out. One last thing I want to talk about while the camera's on, and because somebody asked me about this earlier, uh, for web distribution and other sort of sharing purposes, when we're laying things out like this, the best thing to do is not send um, a a, a, a Photoshop file, a PSD file, uh, the best thing to do is either save it as a JPEG or as a PDF. And let me just show you where those um, options are. To save this as a JPEG, you go to Save for Web and Devices. It's the same place we use the animation function, right? It says, oh, this is too big. Uh, you sure you want to do this? Yeah, we'll deal with it. It's going to take a little while for it to do the um, rendering. That wasn't that long. And here we can choose a JPEG file type. Um, and what's nice about this um, save for web and devices is it tells you how large, what's going on? Is that printing a million pages? Did I print many pages? What is going on with the print shop? Did somebody turn off that printer? printing multiple times or what? That is strange. Well, I'm glad I did an addition. It's easy enough. Um, what just happened here? Ha! Huh. It said 20 copies in there. Nobody uh, noticed. Oh, yeah. On camera. I love it. Um, that's one for the record books, okay? Make sure that says one copy up there, people. You don't need 20 copies. Um, so, uh, okay, so to save for JPEG, you, you use the save for web and devices. Um, to make a PDF, make a PDF. I'm going to sweat it out. I'm not going to tell you right now. We'll talk about that soon. Um, it's different in this version. I'll set that from the camera right Okay, so save for web and devices gives you a JPEG, and that's what you'd want to use when you are um, sending a file. Here I have my uh, greeting card layout. I fold it in half. Uh, and I fold it in half. And it's basically along those same lines that we had um, laid in with our... With our guide with their rules. So now I have my single side print, but a book that reads as such. And actually, the funny thing about thinking about prints this way is you can make longer books by Imagine these are the same size. Putting pages within pages. This was something I was planning on doing with you guys last project, but I decided that the print setup in InDesign was so much better for doing, it was sort of like made for making the booklets. It's like, why not do that and do this later on? But it's important to know how to lay out um, 
stuff for printing. And that's what we're doing here in Photoshop, setting up a print run in Photoshop. Don't make a print run of 20, OK? Any questions about this? Um, here's the, um, the measures that I uh, said earlier. They're all on the board, OK? Thank you.